Good evening. State Assemblyman Scott Gray calls on the Attorney General's Office to conduct a comprehensive investigation into Ivy Ridge. It comes after this documentary released on Netflix earlier this week. Former students talking about alleged physical and sexual abuse by some former staff and showing documents along with surveillance video they found when they returned to the abandoned campus four times in 2020. Gray releasing a statement about an hour ago saying the situation portrayed at Ivy Ridge is very serious and it should not be taken lightly and encourages former students to pursue appropriate channels, including seeking redress or a remedy through the attorney general's office. More and more people are seeing that Netflix documentary and tonight's 7 News reporter Sean Brenda listens to what Ogdensburg leaders and residents have to say. The rundown and closed Ivy Ridge campus sits five miles away from Ogdensburg in the town of Oswegatchie, but the city is front and center in parts of the recently released documentary about alleged abuse at Ivy Ridge. Ogdensburg City Manager Andrea Smith. It's, it's certainly the events that occurred or allegedly occurred at Ivy Ridge um, are terrible and not something that you would want any community associated with. The documentary seems to be the talk of the town, but while in town, it seemed few wanted to speak about it. Some don't know what to say. Others don't want to assume all the claims are true. City resident Sheila Pio didn't want to go on camera, but spoke about the documentary. She says she knows people who worked at Ivy Ridge, and she's shocked that if the allegations are true, that no one said anything until now. Why it's taken so long. I, I don't understand why people working there weren't saying things because to watch kids get treated that way, that's just not right. Others admit they haven't watched the three part series on Netflix, but just hearing about it in the community, hope if there's justice needed, that it happens. Well, hopefully they will be found out eventually and then hopefully things will get I know it won't get fix everything, but hopefully there will be some sur justice served. Interim City Manager Andrea Smith hopes people locally don't jump to conclusions and that people from outside the area know there's more to Ogdensburg than Ivy Ridge. There's much more to Ogdensburg and St. Lawrence County than um, you know Ivy Ridge, and we have a lot of great things to offer, um, not least of which is our, our beautiful location. We you know coming into um, spring and summer here where our, our natural resources, which are our greatest asset, really do shine. Sean Brenda, 7 News.